strange for you know, the neighborhood you guys in. It's yeah. Really yeah. At least you can be over there with some daylight. Yes, I do. You originally were here, but we moved here because of the lighting. Oh, okay. Thank you. Person, they kind of do this, and they meet, and then they, you know, so it's it's definitely something that that is the pulse of the show that keeps it going. That I think is the week to week more so than the cases are even, but our relationship, you know. Um, but I definitely think it is something that has developed into into its own and has grown so much from season one. Now that Cameron has done what he's done for her in the program and how she's now adapting these feelings. They've just kind of they've they've grown to respect each other, just as individuals, regardless of the program. See, the season finale of one was sort of the impetus for a big change within each within each character. I think almost to a certain degree, they almost swapped yeah. personalities. Um, no more crushes, Cameron. But Kirsten's a little more hesitant about stuff, and she has all of these emotions. So her journey is really learning how to handle the emotions that she has now. Um, and I think Cameron is just a much more, just a less scared human being. Yeah, um, and it's just kind of realizing, you know, like, yes, she has these feelings that she has to deal with. Yes, she has the knowledge of how I feel about her that she has to deal with. And so he's willing to let her wait, you know, on that, on those feelings and decide for herself what she wants to do, in spite of the fact that she's trying to find her father throughout this entire season, which may or may not be an excuse for why she hasn't given him an answer yet as to where they stand. she's figuring out where she does stand and yeah. how she does feel. And like Kyle said, um, finding her father is sort of the driving, her driving force throughout this season and it kind of propels us through the season. So that's a big issue. Yeah. <laughs> So do you think your characters are changing, have changed more emotionally this second season? Yeah, definitely, 100%. Really more emotional. Yeah. Absolutely. Much more emotional. Well, particularly for Kirsten, I think much, much more emotional. Um, yeah. They've definitely just grown up, you know. I think if you really look, looked at it, like the day-to-day -day of what they do on, the, you know, as a, as a you know, career is just, it's kind of ridiculous when you think about it. And so I think you start to see them come into their own and handle their work and the relationships, and but at the same time, like anybody's life, there's always this, you know, stressful money points that you want to want to, you know, jump over as quickly as you can. So. so, do you have any favorite episode or scene, and specifically that you can tell us about? We've been asked this a bunch of times today, and I keep changing my mind because then I remember episode eight just before, yeah. which I think is okay. So, so this will be our favorite one. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but episode, so episode eight this season, I think, is great because. It was the first, it was, when you're reading uh, procedurals for a second time, and you're watching procedural shows all the time, you kind of have an idea of how it's going to turn out at the end, you know? Episode 8, as I was reading it, I really had no idea, and I was really surprised by how it ended. Um, so that, I think, is really cool. Um, and it's also sort of the, the formula of the show is like changed up a little bit. Yeah. I like episode two because I feel like the premiere episode of this season was sort of wrapping up the finale of last season and episode two is where we start to sort of settle into what the show is this season. Um, but I yeah. will say that last season I think that it was an easier season to pick a favorite because I think we were kind of finding our footing and like once we kind of found it, it was like, oh, this is where the scripts started to graduate from one another. I think this season, the first episode was the finale part two. The second episode on, every episode continues to top itself. And so it's hard to kind of put a finger on which one the best one is. It just depends on like what case you like best. Right. But every episode is so standalone and so substantially greater than any episode last season that I think the fans are really in for a treat because we just deliver every yeah. week on top of each other. And, um, oh, and yeah, so... Like in terms of just favorite scenes, honestly, most of the time my favorite scenes are the, the scenes between you and I. Mm -hmm. And that would be because... Um, you get to... Because we get to be, have... Real moments. Yeah, real moments. Whereas Aside a lot of the other stuff we do stuff. is like technology and, and case-driven and very... That sort of focus and a lot of jargon and stuff like that, which is fun. Um, but, it, but the scenes that we have together are usually where you can 
as an actor, you feel like you're really tapping into sort of humanity. Yeah. Um, so, well, we have some really nice moments this season. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.